Hey, hey Rainy Rain Hollow. Hollow! Hey, it's new. I'm here today with Kitty, Belle, and Chloe. We've got another awesome craft for you. Now this craft is our cute little octopus here. And actually our octopus is a great way to practice a couple of our camping knots. So our camping knots that we have are this one right all along here. We have, these are the lark's head. And then up here, we have a square knot here and tied right here. It's a great way to practice our camping knots by doing our little octopus craft. So to do our craft, we're gonna start with an empty toilet paper roll and make sure you get off as much of the paper as you can. We have nine little scraps of yarn. These are about eight inches long. They don't all have to be the same. They can be whatever you have. We happen to have all the same here today. You need a pair of scissors, a hole puncher, markers, colored pencils, pens, or you can just leave it like this. Maybe some little googly eyes. You might want to have some glue back up. These ones are the self-sticking ones, but they never do stick very well. So we have our glue as well. And something very important, don't forget to cover your work surface because I always so campers, you want to see how to make this awesome craft? Yeah! Awesome. Now to do our craft, we start with our octopus post tube and we kind of guess about in the middle because each tube actually makes two of them. You see? Okay, now this part's a little tricky. You want to flatten your tube just a little bit, but not a lot. Otherwise your octopus will be flat on one side. Make sure your finger's out of the way and just start to cut just part of the way and after that kind of stick your scissors through and just work very slowly and try and make sure you're still about halfway once we get done cutting we can always clean it up and there we go and you can kind of see a little bit of a jaggedy edge so you can just cut around it actually works better if i cut in this direction I just cut those little edges off and of course since we're working with this toilet paper tube don't forget that this should go in the recycling now we're going to take our tube and we're going to color it and if you work on it just push on it flat it's a little bit hard so if you hold it up just a little bit hold your hands flat you can color it move fingers out of the way and just rotate it around, keep coloring all the way across. And since I know you don't want to watch me color, I colored one already. So we have our colored tube and we're gonna go ahead and we will start cutting our things. We'll start by punching a hole with our hole puncher. You don't have to go super deep, but enough that you have a little bit to tie on to. Now, Cut the next one straight across. Remember an octopus has eight legs, so as straight across as you can. And then go about halfway in between. And then straight across from that. About halfway in between again. And then halfway in between these holes. And you have divided that into eight so you get eight holes all the way around and you can kind of see I didn't get them quite straight but there are the eight holes I'm gonna go ahead and to tie our knots remember we take our piece of yarn we fold it in half and take it it works best if you want to thread the folded in we put the folded in you can either go down in this direction I will show you the other way too Take our puller loop down, stuff our two ends through, and we pull tight. Do that. Let's show you the way the other way we can do this too. We can take it and we can come up from the bottom and push them through. And work carefully because your yarn has several plies and you want to make sure all the plies get through. Stuff them through the loop and pull tight and there's the different ways. You would tie all the way around, but just be quick. I won't do that. I will go ahead and stick my little eyes on. 
I'll make this my little face right here. And if you need to put a little glue down with it, these eyes don't always stick. And make sure that when you get these little bits of paper, the little backing circles end up in the trash. There we go. A little silly guy. And put a little nose and a mouth. And of course, you can decorate this however you want. You don't have to color your tube all the way around in one color. Draw a pattern. Now, to put our string on our top piece, this piece right here, and cut on the side and then try and get it straight across. If it's not straight across, then it may lean backwards or forwards. There we go. We take one more piece, take our piece of yarn, and we'll bring it up through. Now remember our square knot. You don't remember, watch our videos from camp week, okay? But we can tie it, we just have a long end. So we take our right over left, that's a whole lot of my fingers, isn't it? And under, you kind of pull that tight. And then left over right and under. And there is our square knot. Now we come to the other side. We can thread it through, we can thread it through whichever way. If I come this way, see it's on our left, we'll just flip our little octopus around. Make sure not pull this too tight because that's our little hanging piece right there. Again, right over left and under. Oops, here we go, and pull tight and left over right. And under. So there you go. There. And of course, I would finish tying our lark's heads, but you don't want to quite see that. There is our little octopus, and we can hang that up. Of course, you can color the inside too if you want, but I didn't. So, campers, ready to make your own little cute octopus practicing your knots? Yeah! Awesome.
we're finished. Let's see what we did here. There's mine. Kind of crazy going everywhere. Let's see Kitty. Her little legs keep flipping up inside. Isn't that cute? Very cute. She said she made Girl Scout cookie polka dots. Very cute. See, we have bells. Oh, very cute. And of course, Belle did hearts. How precious. And little squiggles down there. And there is Chloe's. How cute. You notice Chloe tied her knots right the first time. So we're so excited. See, we practice. We get them right. So don't forget to clean up your mess. And we hope that you have fun doing our little octopus craft to practice your knots. And again, if you've forgotten how to do your knots, I'll go ahead and post the links below of our square knot and our lark's head knot. So don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to send us your pictures. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.